Hey, hello. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Kotesh We Create, Lifestyle Niche. A few days in the week, I'll give you Kotesh Chronicles, where I'll speak on trending issues, and I'll also give you a little story time on something that I may have experienced. Sundays, look out for my vlogs, all right? My vlogs are going to be featuring me during the week, the things that I would have done. I'll be sharing that with you. Now listen, over here I do things my way, a pleasant warning. And, and outside of uh, my vlogs and story time, everything else will be alleged. Please, people. I am not going to will myself into being sued by the machine. <laughs> no, let's do this. Check out my store for this cool design. We got you. Hello everyone. I had to do this video. It is going to be a short video, but I had to do it, okay? Speaking of out of control, these two ladies are playing the role to the T. I have absolutely nothing against these ladies. They do what they do, I do what I do. But this is my opinion, okay? I must start off by saying that I do believe, this is my belief, that narcissism is a part of the human psyche. That's my opinion. We all exhibit narcissistic traits at some point in our lives. However, narcissism becomes a problem when other people are affected adversely. You know, when you lack self-awareness. Self so you saw my title. Now let's talk, all right? I'll first talk about Cardi B. This is one hell of a debacle, hence my title, one and the same. They are both intentional with their actions in this case. Trust me. Now, my first sighting of Cardi B was years ago on Love and Hip Hop, New York. She was persistent trying to get someone to listen to her music in the studio. She was pretty talented. I thought she was talented way back then, you know. She, she's also an entertainer because she really gave that... Um, that show a, a lot of life you know just like Cardi B is now I do believe that the lawsuit was Cardi B making a point and you know trying to keep her word to sue Car uh, Tasha K because she said that she would sue her you know so she had to I don't know who she you know wanted to make a point to whether it's her fans or whomever she she did it she 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 followed through you know she followed through now Tasha Kay. I subscribed to Tasha Kay's channel a long time ago. She is very entertaining. Now listen, when she has programs that I don't subscribe to or I don't agree with the content, I just don't watch. I am grown. I'm an adult. I'm in control of my mental faculties. I can make these choices. No insult to anyone, but I just don't watch. You know, so I she's she's carved out a very profitable niche mar market for her brand. You know, like her or hate her, she has done well. She has over a million subscribers. Awesome. I'm, I think she lost a few, but that's okay. Listen, both these women are good at what they do. Hence my title, one and the same. They are really, really good at what they do. I mean, you can't be mad. After the, the, the whole lawsuit situation, I mean, you know, Tasha K came out and said she did nothing wrong. She intends to control the narrative. Her statement was true to form, just what I expected. 
you know, just what I expected. Her so-called defiance keeps her in the news. Controversy sells. If she had apologized, then what? That would be a, a one-off. Boring. No story there. Only a moment. Moments don't sell, people. Moments don't sell. Even if it does, it doesn't make you millions over a long extended period. Period. Back to Cardi B. Who knows, maybe she might be in the studio right now as we speak, making music. Why not? Why not capitalize? My biggest takeaway from all their shenanigans is that both of them know how to market their brand. One and the same. And they know how to do so sustainably and effectively. We are still talking about them right now. <laughs> this is real. This is a real cat and mouse game. And you know, the fans and all the people who are invested in this situation are the real suckers, me included. <laughs> the fans will continue to delve into both Cardi B and Tasha K's vault of utterances, you know, and selectively choose moments that will keep this saga going at least for, a, you know, a little while longer. There will be a, a, a lull, but then something will ignite, you know, the story again. It's not going to die down completely. Cardi B might even, you know, announce that she will donate her awarded millions to a charitable organization. How else to keep her name in the news? I mean, she doesn't have to work that hard. On the, on the other hand, Kasha K said that she'll be taking her case all the way to the Supreme Court. Why not? It makes for good TV. <laughs> Tasha K will lose subscribers and gain sub subscribers. The same goes for sponsors. Cardi B too. Cardi B will lose fans and gain admirers. Par for the course. They are one and, one and the same. I am telling you. They are one and the same. Let me tell you. These two women balance each other out. They balance out each other. Let the mind games continue. They both have to keep up the charade in their respective genres. More importantly, at the end of, at the end of it all, they will be okay they will be okay my opinion and i'm sticking to it and thank you so much for being here with me i'm always you know very grateful for you spending time with me but please don't forget to check out my store the link to my store is in the description check out the, the my books on amazon i'm on instagram everything is there for us to stay connected thank you stay safe and until